Tire. My truck, my high cube unicell van has almost come home. We're in Buffalo and this is where they make unicell one piece fiberglass bodies, but they did not make my egg, my swimming pool on wheels, my sperm whale. They did not make it here, but we stopped in to see this manufacturing plant in Buffalo, New York, making parts in Buffalo since 1907. They make one piece fiberglass bodies for everything. Cab over chassis, Chevys, GMC, Rams, Ford Transits. That's the way it ought to be. Covered up with a diaper. Rubber floor mats, they got one ton dualies. I bought some clips for my L track that goes in the back. We like our Chevys and we're GMCs, and they don't make that body here. They made it in Tirana, and that's a first generation, and it serves me well. It is a good body on a good Chevrolet. One piece unicell fiberglass truck bodies. They make them for everything. V8 gas Chevrolet. Where do they make this? This is manufactured in a B A G C Automotive, Lamasafe. I wonder where they make these Chevys. Japan. Introduction. This document contains information relative to the conformance of this incomplete vehicle with the following. But it doesn't tell me where it's made, and it's probably locked. But it's not. Unicell Body Company, Buffalo, New York. Made right here. No step. And this truck that looks Japanese is manufactured by Isuzu, which is owned by GM. And it's made in incomplete vehicle manufactured by Vehicle Incomplete Fabrique par Spartan Motors Chassis Inc. United States 10, 2018. And you can't smell it, but I can. The new car off-gassing smell. Boy, I haven't driven a cab over in a million years. Like my ramp side would be nice if I had it. Look at that. It's even got the manual. Oh, look at that. There's my body. The egg, the pool, the sperm. This has got barn doors. And here's a Aerocell SRW, single rear wheel flip up door. There she is. Yep. Beautiful. We're here at Unicell, but they don't make them here. They make them in Canada. Wow, that's a tight cab. There's a little flapper doors open. Click. Nice big mirrors. One piece fiberglass over steel with a wire rope cable and stainless steel screws. Uh oh, they stripped that one. I was at a friend's house in Chicago. He's got a 65 Grand Prix, you saw it in the video. And I watched it on his HD TV. And you could see every dimple and every pore in my face and skin. I said, Is that what people are looking at when they watch my videos? Oh, yeah. Tighten until one click. English only. Sheetrock screws. Self tappers. They do a nice job. These guys know what they're doing. Stabila Track 4500. What motors this thing got. I know in Israel I saw these with the Duramax. Base equipment, two work trucks. Driver convenience package including tilt wheel and cruise, locking rear differential, outside rear view mirrors, 250, G80, 325. They don't put the codes anymore. Seats custom cloth, $70 extra. What would they give you? Vinyl, I suppose? Smokers package, $35. Yes, it's a work truck. Why do workers smoke? Why does anybody smoke? Fuel additional three gallons, $18, five bucks a gallon. It's like when you rent a car, they charge you extra for the gas. <laughs> $8 and $9 a gallon. Hertz had the nerve to charge me, and I filled it up outside the airport. It wasn't full. 10-gallon tank took three gallons. I said, excuse me, you owe me $27. Label for GM content only. See dealer about non-GM cotton content. Axle ratio, 410, 16-inch wheels, dual rear wheels, seating arrangement, driver and passenger high back. Total options, $1,093, $36,000. Got a five year, 60,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. First maintenance visit, oil change, entire rotation, multi point vehicle inspection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summit white, no description found. 
Vortex 6 liter, six speed automatic, 2019 Savannah Vanna, 4,500, 177 inch wheelbase. That's got a 139 inch wheelbase. I was wondering why it looks so short, but it suits me fine. I love my Savannah Vanna. And we're not buying any of these, even though they're $36,000 out the door. I paid $1,500 for mine, and I'm happy with that. $33,000 for a Ford Transit. And this has got four-wheel disc brakes with ABS, blah, 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 blah. Exterior upgrade package, 10360 GVWR package. Two-way side airbag canopy delete. 50 state emissions, mirrors long power. AM FM microphone Bluetooth, 135. Center console delete. They charge 60 bucks for that. Interesting, huh? Manufactured in Kansas City. Kansas City Assembly. I thought the show me state was Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Kansas. There's a difference. And this one was manufactured. This is a GMC. Is there a difference? This one is manufactured in Howard Street, Buffalo, New York. That's where we are. It doesn't say where it was manufactured. Huh. Ohio, final assembly. $33,000. Very cool. But we're not going to see my sperm whale Savannah Vanna swimming pool on wheels <laughs> because they don't make them here. A friend of mine once asked me a long, long time ago what this little red thing was on Rudolph's nose. I said, that's if you were a drunk driver, they make you put that on the front of your car. You got a red nose from being drunk. So that's the long story. We're in Buffalo and they got chassis cabs on that side and chassis with fiberglass bodies on this side. And there goes one, one more happy customer out the door with my Savannah Vanna rusted rockers, rusted fuel line, rust, 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 rust. My graffiti van. Yep, you've been tagged. I love it. All I need to do is find a chassis cab out west and transfer my body. Happy Friday, TGIF.